Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to the Drafter YouTube channel. Uh, welcome to another Bolt League match. This is a little bit different than uh, you used to because I'm not the person battling. Instead I will be commentating over a match of uh, Phoebe of the uh, Peaceful Piplops against Cam and the Denver Goldangos. Both lost the match in round one and are trying to bounce back. Um, and Phoebe absolutely sprinted through team preview, so I had no real chance of checking it out. But that's okay, I looked a little bit at the matchup beforehand, and I'm sure I won't be Omega lost, because I don't know any of the sets or what any of the threats are. Um, while we're loading in, uh, Phoebe has a uh, Latias as a Terra Captain, and an Olga upon Wellspring added as a Terra Captain, it's pretty expensive mons. While Cam pretty much only has Iron Valiant, and other than that, like a pretty mid power team and we see a Lando T lead against Empoleon. Uh, well, I guess that was a pretty good predict from Cam. Competitive uh, trigger ring against Intimidate. Um, and that's fun, like Phoebe is playing lightning fast, like she locked her fate, her team in so fast and now is um, so confident kicking U-turn here. I mean, U-turn pretty low risk move unless that Empoleon is scarf, but it's not, we know that now. And what is our switch into that Empoleon? Linux charm, the good old Porygon 2, it seems like. We also got a brief glimpse of the team of Phoebe here. The Linux charm should take anything. Oh, and it's special attack rolls. That means that Empoleon is better in the defense department than in the um, special defense department. Um, and an ice beam came out, so no. No predicts here, everything's chill. Okay, match. Oh, and flip turn recover. Both are doing like the obvious choices here, but that means in turn three, I think we're now in turn three, practically nothing has happened. Like, we, we stalled uh, three PP in total. Uh, and here's the Golok. Golok. What? It tried to use conversion too, but it failed. And now it tanks a drain punch to the face, but takes it like a champ. I have to Google what the hell conversion two is. I don't want to lie to you guys. I'm just like Pi. What is conversion two, but it failed? Mm, I'm reading it up while we see another drain punch hitting that uh, Porygon 2 that's just chilling and recovering in front of a Golur. Oh, conversion 2 changes the type of Porygon 2. Interesting. To the thing that it hit at last. Okay, after tanking two drain punches and being relatively healthy, we switch our Lando back in. Intimidate the girl, look, we should take the drain punch like a boss. A predict came out with a thunder punch, but that of course had no effect. Um, and we you turn out again. I mean, so far that's a pretty chill gameplay. We're not playing around crits, but a pretty relaxed game from Fiji. Oh, that's really cooler. That's uh, Rotom Frost. Mm, usually has not a lot of business going on, but it's fun. It learns Blizzard. Who is our switching into the Electric Ice type? Mm, a lot of good options. We could use the Fire Bunny to pressure it. I mean. It would be kind of cringe if he hit a, blitz, uh, a blizzard if we switch. Ah, but we are of course a terror. We could of course terror into a terror type with Latias. So maybe that's the play here. Oh, it's a left or Rotom Frost. I don't think I've ever seen that, but that's fine as well. So probably a defensive set. Missed all Aurosphere recover. Oh, this is set here. And we just straight up go for the Aurosphere. The defensive program tanks it like a champ. And misses the Thunder Wave. That's so unlucky for Cam. A good old Chet uh, gets, gets us in a great position here. Now we can just RSV again. Uh, Golok could switch in here. That is a little bit of a risky maneuver. Um, so I mean, we could anticipate the switch here and like already switch in whatever we think. It's good into Golok. Yep, this is also what's happening. Uh, 
And now we are in a little bit of the same spot on the other side because the Polygon 2 switch in is pretty obvious. But will we predict a Drain Punch or will we just go for a Ghost Attack? The question is if a Drain Punch predicting is enough to pre pressure this Polygon 2 to pressure a Knockout. Okay, that's not as good. Okay, Portal Guy is the obvious move was the choice by Cam here and okay now we actually can see the like, conversion stuff going on. Earthquake. Okay so the earthquake hits does like damage and now the Polygon 2 becomes a ground type. I swear to god I've never into a bug type because Golok was last hit by a bug move and now we die for Poltergeist. No, we don't. Uh, but we, we barely hang on. I swear to God, this is the strangest sequence of events that I've ever seen. You know, that's fun. Okay, nice. Now we have a bug type. Oregon 2 sitting here. We have Shadow Ball against the Golok. Let's see how much damage that does. Um, because, uh, of course, you know that the Golok is faster, so if it, cl cl it clicks Poltergeist here, we die on the next portal, guys, if we don't knock it out with a Shadow Ball, which I don't think we do, actually. Um, Bad and Cam is googling what Conversion 2 does at the moment, because I I'm sure I would, like... Okay. Now that portal, guys, puts a, a knockout range against the next portal, guys. Yeah, that does no damage. We had no special attack boost, remember? This was an attack boost. Yep, and now we need to switch out. We have like no real Pokemon that loves getting attacked by Poltergeist. I assume Landorus would be the best option, but of course we would reveal our choice scarf with that. But um, Phoebe has the same assessment of the situation as me. Just minimize damage. Oh! A double switch. Oh, not a double switch, but both switch out. Subwoofer Neuvan gets in here. Uh, Neuvan, I don't think, is a Terra Captain, so not as scary as it is with a Terra at its disposal. Uh, but of course, a special tech usually, so that shouldn't be. Uh, it shouldn't be too worried about that Intimidate. I wonder why. What did we expect here as Cam with Neuvan? Oh, no. Yep, choice rock slide, choice scarf rock, it does a ton, ton, super fang. Another supportive set, halves the damage, halves Lando's HP. Phoebe goes for rock slide again, a pretty safe move here. What will be our switching into the rock slide? I assume, assume it's Golog again, because you of course know not that it's scarfed, otherwise it wouldn't outspeed Neuron. Podium is just as fine. Podium, of course, can just click Ice Beam here again if it wants to. Um, yeah, of course, if he has to switch out here, the question is into what? Yep, that's also the Pokemon I'm eyeing, Ogapon. Looks pretty good here, but no, we predict really ice beams coming out and not a scald or something. We get our fire tab in here. Good old reliable fire rabbit. But Cam predicts exactly the switch and Surf wanted chaos. Our poor fire rabbit. That's pretty good because I forgot its English name. I want to name it, say its name is Lieberlo, but I'm pretty sure that's the German name. Um, so uh, good. I I didn't. Didn't want him to feel anyway, Mr. Fire Rabbit. But uh, Phoebe uses this free switch to get her Pika Pikachu in. Look at it, it's a female Pikachu, so cute. And it instantly, Phoebe's playing so fast, like she's so confident in her moves, it's crazy. Like when I play on Wi Fi, I'm always way more hesitant in what, what, I'm, ha what I'm doing and what's happening here. Uh, so I assume she predicts a Golok switch here, um, because of the obvious Thunderbolt that's coming out. And there is a switch coming. 
Will we see back-to-back -back knockouts? Odds off of predicts? It seems like it. I don't think Golok survives that. It does survive it, but on a sliver of health. No chance for it to survive another grass knot. Yep, that, that was it. Golok down. That means Polygon 2 is free to click try attack now, but to be honest, Polygon 2 is also very low at the moment, so I don't know. How happy we are about that. But Godok also a pretty, pretty, pretty big threat for La Latias that's now gone. Important for the um, remainder of the match. Uh, to be honest, I'm not quite sure if our Fire Bunny dying has any lasting impact. Grim Snarl is now here. Uh, since it wasn't a lead Grim Snarl and it's just now coming out, I assume it's some sort of setup Grimmsnarl and not a usual live screen setter. Yep. Wolfsfish comes as first, that means no prankster move, and I assume Grimmsnarl would go for some damaging move. By the way, the Wolfsfish did a lot. Yep. So either play rough or counter cleave or oh no not counter cleave. Whatever the dark move is that um, Grimmsnarl usually uses is coming out here. We have an intimidate. Crunch. That's a fine move. And leftovers. Another interesting. I guess it's probably a bulk upset then. Mm, do we have to be scared about bulk up here? Not really. I think you trans uh, chips it fine. And if, uh, like if it just clicks bulk up, we see that because it's prankster, and we can probably just bring uh, Pikachu into. Kill the Grimms now, I don't think we have to be too scared of anything. But it's the uh, Pranks move boosted parting shot, so you turn an even better move here. Uh, retains our momentum. Like Phoebe is doing a very good job here in my opinion. I mean we, we got predicted on once with the Empoleon, but other than that, very safe place. Slowly getting us towards the finishing line. Okay, that's a pretty bold switch. And what if you pressed Earthquake here? But okay. Uh, but if she cl clicked Earthquake here, then if Atlanta was on Earthquake duty, Emporium might be a little bit unhappy. <laughs> but look who's back! Yellow Ferrari, the scariest Pikachu known to mankind, can go for another Wolf switch here. Re or I guess Thunderbolt is fine as well, but I think I would prefer Wolf switch. Retainer momentum. There's no more ground times on the enemy team that want to take those. And for some reason, it does a lot of bad damage um, due to its item. I think uh, Lightning Ball or whatever it's called, the Pikachu specific item. <laughs> Crazy, I've never seen such a good performing Pikachu. Yep, fortunately, Phoebe's listening to me. Whatever switches in here, we don't really care about it because I guess Rotom is a pretty fine switch in, but. It doesn't matter. It simply leaves the field again, Pikachu, um, and you just use anything to outspeed it. Get okay, suspect. Uh, hey guys, do you do you know that momentum is pretty good at draft leagues? Just in case you didn't, uh, here's a quick reminder that you turn and bolt switch are pretty good moves. Uh, flip turn and party shot as well, by the way. But uh, you turn and bolt switch definitely the more common ones. Brick break. Oh, that, that Rotom Frost is Terra. Terra Electric. Okay, but doesn't it just die? We already know it's not Scarf, and even it, it would be Lander Scarf as well. Fine. Goodbye, Rotom Frost. Um, there was a bit, little bit of a waste of terror, I gotta admit, but I guess Golok is already dead. He only, That was his second and his last terror captain. He had no other options anyway. Um, hmm. How do we get back into this from Cam's perspective? What do we have left? We have the Chip Napoleon, the Chip Grimms now. And two other mons. One of them being a Neuban on 5%. But we just brick break again, right? Surely it doesn't survive that. Nice. Okay, gaming. It's 
Scarf and T, everybody. Haven't you seen the last one? Kid Stable? I don't think you've seen Kid Stable yet. Chirachi, well, hello there, good sir. Well, Chirachi is pretty happy to tank some brick breaks. He doesn't really care about that. Oh, we also stay in. Yep, no damage. Body slam. I know. And the power with it. Uh, well, sometimes we gotta get a little bit of chat back. Uh, remember, Cam missed the move already, so it's just fair that Body Slam paralyzes him once. And we sack our Lando T to a U turn. That's pretty fine because now we, as Phoebe, get the momentum back again. So we had Napoleon, Jirachi, and Grimmsnow left to beat. No more Lando and no more Fire Bunny though. I mean, Fire Bunny would be pretty nice against Jirachi. Grimmsnow has the choice here, gets a free leftovers recovery. Um, I mean, we don't bring Latias in here. Why don't we start bonking? And anyways, I started bonking. The other option is Pikachu just press press Volt Switch again. But I don't hate Terra, Ogapon, Ivy Cudgel. I feel like the punishment for that is very limited. Um, I, we don't need Trailblaze, I, even if Cam switches and Podium in, we can just table trip with data. Or we even go for Sword Stance. I mean, that's fine. Sword Stance is a pretty good move against the Parting Shot. This puts us at plus one. Who comes in here? Chirachi. I'm assuming expecting a play rough, but Sword Dance is the move. Uh, Body Slam could paralyze us. We don't care about that. I'd still go for Terra Ivy Cudgel. I don't understand why we don't Terra. With Terra, we would have killed. Are we getting paralyzed now? No. Lucky us. Uh, but yeah, this is Ogapon gameplay. You click Ivy uh, In case anyone sees this, this who also has Ogapon and lost the last few matches, I've seen a lot of Ogapons in the server who just refuse to cl click Ivy Cut. Good lord, that did a lot of damage. Why are we not terroring? Can someone explain this to me? I mean, it doesn't matter, I guess, but we would have wanted to kill both the Empodeon as well as the Jirachi, I think, so... Ah, small noise for Phoebe after the match, but... This looks pretty done at this point. Our plus one Ogopon is bonking everybody on the head. As God intended. Bonk! Uh, by the way, I love the sound of all like the Ogopon Ivy Cutters and I love the animation. I think it's the most satisfying move in the game, actually. There is the very sad Grimmsnarl. We might not see a bulk up. <laughs> Still no Terra. I but he wanted to go at least. Did I miss that? Did Fury already Terra? No, I swear to God, I just didn't Terra. But um, yep, this was the game. Good job, Phoebe. Congratulations on your 4 0 victory over Cam. Uh, I will be talking through the rest of the video. We have 20 seconds left. Oh, um, if you uh, watch this video, uh, please add me in uh, the general chat and tell me your favorite breed of cat without any context. Just so I know that if you watch the video. Other than that, have a nice week and um, see you in another video maybe.